Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Atalagwe and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of my sewing machine, the Brother GS2700. Fun fact, I made this review video a very long time ago and by some very weird accident, I lost all of the footages. So I decided to remake it today. Now I've been using my Brother GS2700 for over a year now. It's an amazing sewing machine. I love it. It's awesome. I can't even think of any shortcomings, although I think that there is one and I'm going to talk about it towards the end of the video. Okay. And as someone who has used a couple of different machines before, I think that I know what I'm talking about when I say that something is great. Today, I'm going to be showing you its parts, its features. I'm going to also give you a verdict of sorts about all of this. So definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share this video and let's get started. So this is a sewing machine. This is how it looks. It's pretty. I love it. And up here you have the tension dial, the stitch width dial, and the stitch length dial is last. You're going to change the combinations of all of this depending on the stitch that you want to make and you can find recommendations in the manual. Down here we have the actual stitch dial for switching between the 27 stitches. And up here I have the main spool pin for standing the thread and down here i have the bobbin it's a quick set bobbin system which means that you can easily access it from the top here without having to go through layers of opening and closing so you know this is how to fix it you put it in and then you pull the thread to the left and then you hook it inside this curve around here okay it also has an LED light for eliminating your work as it should really and it has a built-in free arm which means that this part of it is removable so that you have a narrower arm for stitching narrow hems like pants and sleeves although I personally almost never use it. Here I have this button for reversing a seam and down here I have the built-in needle threader and this is so cool so I'm going to show you how it works. Okay so if you want to thread the machine you know just follow the guide there are drawings on this machine on the literal machine that would show you what to insert the threading next. So assuming that you can see that um, you're going to thread it that way and let's come down to the needle threader. So you see this guide you're going to insert the needle right behind it you know inside it and then there's this lever to the left you're going to pull it down right and it has a hook that's protruding from it you're going to put the thread right behind the hook so now it's hooking it and right now you're going to carefully turn the lever such that the right side comes forward now there is a very tiny hook and by pulling it forward the hook would have entered the eye of the needle so you're going to take the thread to that hook pull the hook backwards and once you do that the thread comes out of the eye and it's all done this is actually simple but it might look complicated at first so i decided to show you another angle lever down thread around hook lever forward thread behind hook lever backwards lever up and it's all done yes i love it it's so cool practice makes it so much better now this sewing machine as expected came with a very good number of useful accessories. The first thing I want to talk about is the foot pedal. This is the one that you plug to the machine and then you plug the other end to a source of power. You now have the pedal which you use your foot to control, to press basically in order to control the machine. Now the foot pedal is pressure sensitive so if you want it to go fast, such as if you're stitching like a long strip of fabric, you would press hard. But if you want to go slow, such as if you're stitching around a corner, you know, you press softly so that the machine can go slower. It also came with five different presser foot. It came with a buttonhole foot, of course the regular all-purpose sewing foot, a button sewing foot, it came with a blind hem foot and a zipper sewing foot. The blind hem foot is something that I've made a video on on this channel before, so 
don't check that video out but it's on my channel i like that you can switch the axing presser foot on the sewing machine with ease but what i like even more is the combination of presser feet that it came with because i feel like for any beginner or intermediate sewing person this is practically all you need in order to make the bulk of your project so the combination is very well thought out it also came with a dining plate which is something that you need to pair with your button sewing foot to sort of like be a plate between the machine foot and the actual machine when you're sewing a button like it's on top of the dining place that you're going to have the button it also came with a twin needle this is a genius needle that i personally i like to use to give the impression on the right side of the fabric that i have made a cover stitch when i really have not so i just use a twin needle to finish the hem of some of my clothing and it looks like cover stitch on the outside so make of that information what you will it came with three extra needles i have never used any of the extra needles before because the one that came installed on the machine is so good it's so sharp it's never been bent it's never been broken it's never needed to be replaced and i've used it for so many projects so i also think that kudos to the quality right it came with a screw extra bobbins came with also a second spool pin that you're going to need especially when you want to make use of the twin needle you know you're going to have to pass two threads through the um, twin needle so you need a second spool pin to stand your second thread finally it came with a manual this has been very helpful such a lifesaver i use it a whole lot especially when i'm looking for how to use a foot that i don't normally use and when i'm trying to get information on the combination of tension and width and uh, length to use for a certain stage so don't throw this away and i recommend that you read it when you first get your sewing machine it's going to help a great deal you know sometimes we like to just go to google and go to youtube to do stuff but a lot of times the answer is in here it also came with a disc really it is a, a cd player that's supposed to contain the instructions but I've never actually played it before. Now, finally, do I recommend this sewing machine? And the answer is a resounding yes. I totally do. I think that it's a great machine for beginners and for intermediate users. I even think it's a great machine for small businesses because of the multiple stitches that it has. 27 built-in stitches some of them are decorative some of them are functional some of them serve both purposes the only thing you would want to pair with this in order to make impeccable projects would be a serger the only con that i would say that this machine has had for me is that i once tried to slim fit the band of my jean note the band of my jean that's like that's like four jean fabrics thick and at the edges that's basically eight jean fabric thick and the machine could not sew it i think that other than that it handled all of my other projects pretty nicely just know that if you're looking for something that would work on super sturdy super thick fabric this is not it but if you want to construct amazing projects with decently thick fabrics and you even want to double them you're going to be very fine so that's not much of a challenge for me and i hope that it's not for you as well now how much did i get this machine for in 2020 when i bought this machine it cost only 78,000 naira on Konga. When I checked recently in preparation for this video, it was 99,999 naira, basically 100k. That's how much it's gone up between June 2020 and now. But I still think that it's good investments, it's good value for money. It's true that the inflation has been unimaginably high for the past almost two years now, and this is just one of the implications so if you're looking to buy definitely look in my description box and you're going to find links to the machine on conga on amazon i could not find it but i'm going to find something that's similar and that would i would buy and i'll put it there if you think that you're up for buying it definitely make the purchase using my link so that's it for my sewing machine let me know if i've answered all of your questions if i haven't definitely ask me in the comments and i will respond to you make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye